What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kasim and you are watching another episode of Tip Tuesday where I give you guys quick little tips and short little videos about the tech in your lives. Today we're going to be talking about iOS 14's picture in picture feature. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first thing you need to do is unlock your iPhone and jump into the home screen. Let's go into our Safari app and open it up. Once in the app, we are going to head over to youtube.com to find a video to play. I'm going to play my iOS 14 widgets tutorial video I did. If you haven't seen it, I'll put up a card so you can check that out as well. Once the video begins playing, go into full screen mode and you'll notice the picture in picture icon in the top left. If you tap this icon, then the video will minimize and we can just go back to the home screen while the video continues playing. You can pinch to zoom anywhere on the video in order to resize it to your liking. We can also move it around to any position by pressing down and dragging it to wherever we like. If you'd like to dismiss the video and just continue with playing the audio, you can just swipe your finger to the right and the video will be minimized into a tab. At any point that you'd like to bring it back, just tap on the tab and swipe your finger to the left. You can also return to full screen view by simply tapping on the video while it plays. This will bring up the picture in picture icon in the top right which you can then tap and return to full screen viewing. You can also exit out of a video at any point by tapping on the X icon in the top left. The YouTube app has yet to be updated to support this, but by the time iOS 14 launches, it should be updated to do so. This feature also works for FaceTime. If we go into our phone app and dial a FaceTime call, once connected, all you have to do is return to the home screen and the FaceTime video will continue. If you swipe the video off to the side, then your end of the video will be paused, but you can continue with the audio. You can also tap on the video at any time to go back to the full screen or to end the call. I'm really happy to finally have this feature in iOS. It's great to have the ability to continue watching videos while going about other tasks. This is just another reason that iOS 14 is such a great update and I'm really looking forward to it. All right, guys, that does it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more. Thank you so much and I'll see you next Tuesday, same time, same place.